Now let's look a little bit at equipping, okay? So when it comes to equipping, uh, again, um, you know, the question is like, why do we need to equip um, others and also equip ourselves? Here is the myth of the Lone Ranger. Nothing of significance has ever achieved by one individual acting alone. And I truly believe that. And if you think there is someone that has achieved something by themselves, and they haven't had someone behind them, they haven't had a team, just drop that name in, in, in the comments and tell me you know, who that person is and, and what did they do. And we're going to look at that because uh, people drop names like that all the time. But if we look behind those names, there is always a team. There is always someone that has helped them. First of all, in order for you to create success in your life and in your business, first, you, you want to value people create solid relationship, and then equip yourself and those people for success, right? So when it comes to equipping, now we again want to understand why sometimes uh, we, we, we fail to equip people. Uh, and and um, there are three types of leaders. When it comes to equipping our people, we have those that are overlookers. These people equip the team, but they do not equip themselves. What we mean by that is that these will be the people that usually speak to us as consultants and coaches, and, and they want something for their team, right? They, they might not see the need for leadership development for themselves, right? So we call them overlooker. They actually overlook the need for themselves, right? They equip the team, but not themselves. Then we have the fearful investors, these leaders, equip themselves but not the team they're afraid that if they equip the team if they empower the team what if the team leaves and and i can tell you you know what's worse than equipping someone and empowering them and have them leave you know what's worse than that is not equipping them not empowering them and have them stay that's much worse so if you are one of these fearful investors and you invest in yourself and you go to conferences and you attend seminars and you maybe work with a coach well i like you to consider if you don't invest in your people well you're making yourself and them a disservice because if you don't invest them in them and they stay it's much worse than if you invest in them and they actually start to use that knowledge or skill that you keep them with and produce some results, even if they leave, chances are they're not going to leave because now they see that you invest in them and you value them, right? You want to be an equipper, right? An equipper is someone that equip themselves and their people, right? So you're looking for opportunities for you to grow in the areas that you need to grow as a leader, but you also then equip your team. So you bring your team together with you when you go to conferences, you buy courses and books and, 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 and materials for your team and you equip them with the resources and, and the skills that they need. And that's the, the formula for success.